the playground. For children, it's a place where time fly by as they interact and make new friends while having fun. Unbeknownst to many of us, the common recreational features are unreachable to some. Yoon Shin introduces to us a new wave of playgrounds that are more inclusive, catering to the needs of kids of all abilities. From the first grade to the 12th, students at Myeongyeon School are thrilled. An outdoor playground with a sandbox, a swing, and spring rides has arrived at last. For outside activities, we take the students hiking on the nearby mountain so they can build up their strength or go to museums or art centers. But I'm so happy there's now an outdoor play area for them right here. The school provides special education for kids with learning difficulties. Most of some 112 students here have neurodevelopmental difficulties. But there are a few who carry physical disabilities. And for them, enjoying the rides won't be the same as it is for their friends. It breaks my heart that the students who are in wheelchairs or walkers can't quite use the standard swings or slides like the others. For many, a playground is something that they grew up with, an adult-free zone to meet new friends and play outdoor games. And it's often taken for granted. For any kid, to play is to live. A playground is a necessary place for their social, emotional, and cognitive growth, along with physical and coordination development through the equipment. For that reason, Children's Grand Park in Seoul has opened a playground that's designed for kids of all abilities to enjoy. At a glance, this playground doesn't look that much different from any other one. But when you look closely, you'll notice small details, such as this wide open pathway instead of stairs, leading all the way up to the slide. So any child can either walk or climb up in a wheelchair. The slide is wide enough for an adult and a child to ride down together. There's a merry-go-round with a corner to secure a wheelchair. Basket swings that are spacious enough to get on lying down and a sandbox with a place for kids in a wheelchair to come in and play. This playground was built through extensive research and lots of trial and error. As a result, its features are very safe and kids really seem to enjoy themselves here. This is what a playground should look like. Companies came here to benchmark the model. But coming to the park can be quite a hassle, especially for those who have physical disabilities who come here by car. The lack of this kind of kid-friendly space across the nation is linked to legal matters. Korea's Anti-Discrimination Act for Persons with Disabilities and Children's Safety Regulations don't specify anything about playground features for kids with disabilities. Legal guidelines to deal with accidents or insurance problems are needed for such equipment to be made. This is long overdue by lawmakers, so I proposed a modification act to take care of any incomplete legal or regulatory matters so that any child, handicapped or not, gets to enjoy the playground. Kim's proposal includes providing support for the production of recreational equipment for kids with special needs, with the required budget backed by the government. Something that various institutes, including Myeongyeon School, have long waited for. To purchase such equipment, schools, especially private ones like ours, are often met with budget issues. If the government can appoint companies to manufacture them, it will bring down prices. So that no child is left out of the joy of playing outside. The move is expected to lead to more inclusive recreational grounds, like the one at Children's Grand Park, an area for all kids to just enjoy being a kid. When working on the design of the playground, I make sure the features are feasible for them, but at the same time just as enjoyable for others. And I wanted to highlight how adjusting small things from the conventional playground can accommodate all children, abled or disabled. Yin Shin, Arirang News.